Hey, this is Christian and today I want to do a portfolio review. Okay, it's been a while since I've done this and I see that people love these things and I decided to make a new one. Okay, uh, as always, I'm going to be brutally honest. I don't really care about feeling someone good. I really I only care about results and honest feedback. Okay, so Musa, I hope that's how I say your name. He's a backend developer, he's a PHP developer, and he's a Node developer. Isn't Node a backend thing and PHP? You might want to check that because I think Node.js and PHP, they are uh, like a backend stack. Um, but yeah, let's have a look. Let's see what it is about, what he's doing right and wrong. I don't really care about uh, where he's from. Maybe you should think about having a few more, some spaces between these uh, sentences and you see how this thing jumps on and off. It's a bit, it's a bit um, clumsy, right? It's not really professional. That's the first thing that I see. And then the spacing between things, you know, it's a bit, everything's a bit off, right? Now, if I look here, a list of technologies that I use daily. VS Code, I don't think it's a technology necessarily. Elementor, WordPress, Windows, that's not really Mac OS. Like how many things are you using daily, mate? Uh, sounds like a lot of things are happening in there. But anyway, it's just me being a hater. So let's see uh, the code lab. Ah, so the code lab is like the project session. Maybe you should call it like that instead of Code lab because no one knows that code lab is your projects page. You know, that's something that you should be considering. I don't think there is a need for you to be here featured. So let's look at this. Okay. E-commerce website doesn't work. Do, 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 do. So if you guys deploy stuff to Heroku, make, make sure that it doesn't take ages to load. That's one thing. Paste the copy token here, then the email, event title, event body. Okay, send invite. Okay, so I guess you can schedule stuff with in Google Calendar with that. Transport ticket thing. Doesn't exist. QR code generator. What are these supposed to be doing, right? phone verification food or let's see what this does you see like how i'm acting how i'm looking at this thing like imagine a recruiter would see this he would be like this this is broken this doesn't work so he's obviously not up for the task okay so let's see what this is about burger what is this thing doing i'm going on this go to network see search page not found PHP CRUD system. Let's have a look here. So I hope you see that I'm not a hater. Just all the aspiring developers, all self-taught self -taught developers have this freaking issue, right? They don't know what to make. So let's see, let's see this thing. Lore Mipsum, great. That's what I wanna see. Okay, watch now. And does what? new release it's the same thing here and here and this is like a background repeat this is awful search this doesn't work this is the reason why people are stuck for years and they say no one is hiring me oh i have the skills but no one is hiring me or on the other side of the coin is i don't know what to do i don't know what to learn i don't know what projects to build and this is a perfect example of that okay it's not me being a hater it's just me showing you the reality that's how it is and that's how most people spend years trying to figure out how to get into the industry okay the problem is that when you're a self taught developer or a bootcamp grad graduate or whatever the problem is that you have to know how to be a bunch of different person, persons, not just a developer, okay? So you need to be a junior developer, aka the person that builds stuff. You need to be a senior developer, 
the person that is checking the code quality and making sure that you are following some rules and um, specific ways of building software, then you need to be a project manager so you know exactly what feature to build when, when it's appropriate to add that feature in there, what is like the business um, need for that feature. And you also have to be an entrepreneur, right? Coming up with the app idea and an app idea that's actually relevant to the real world, aka a real world project. And you need to make sure that it's actually a complex app that people would be able to use if they would want to, okay? Some sort of application that will be fun to use, that will be easy to use, okay? That's kind of what you're looking at. And pretty much that's what I'm doing in my program, in my coaching program. I'm showing you exactly what apps to build I'm managing you so you know exactly what to build, when to build. I'm the senior developer, so I'll make sure that your code quality is proper. Because otherwise, if you don't have these things, you are stuck making stuff like this. And then you are not getting hired. And then you're saying it's difficult to get into the industry. Of course, it's difficult to get into the industry when all you do is stuff like this. And I'm sure that 99.99% percent of the people have something like this in their portfolios and that's why they don't get hired it's as simple as that and i haven't even seen any code yet okay how can i describe this i cannot describe it but this is the state of self-taught developers nowadays and it's crazy you know what's crazy the fact that there are so many resources available and literally everything <clears throat> is for free on the internet aka you don't need to have a mentor you don't need to have any of that but for some reason everything looks like this i might be wrong i might be but maybe i'm not as always christian i hope you enjoyed this portfolio review if uh, if you liked it leave a like it wasn't that much right but i'm working with what i have right that's what recruiters say as well uh, i worked with what i had with what i have and this is your content for today if you want to actually make something meaningful that will get you a job, that will get you a job that will be allowed, that will allow you to work remotely, make more money, have more time, freedom, then what you have to do is you have to apply for a free consultation call. There is a link somewhere in the description and you'll talk either with me or someone from my team and we'll show you how to get really, really good at code really, really fast on your own, uh, at your own pace, without being pushed, without being uh stressed out right and without being overwhelmed by all this available information that's not giving you any results uh so until next time cheers